You know, composition is just so important. Picking the right subject and then deciding what to do with it is critical. So taking your time with assessing the subject and then deciding on the format like I'm going to do in this demonstration. The reference photo that I'm working from is a big scene, but do I want that entire scene? Do I have to accept the photograph as the be all and end all of a composition? Very often photographers look at a scene differently to a painter. Sometimes the subject in a photograph is in the center and it looks fine. But you do that in a painting and it looks wrong. One side fighting off the other and, and there's nothing to settle the eye. So take your time with composition. Use the Notan studies to test out composition. Look at the format. Portrait, landscape, square, panorama, think of those things. And also your viewpoint when you're looking at a scene. Sometimes an ordinary scene looks fantastic just by changing your viewpoint. Let's have a look at what I've decided to do with this composition. Okay, now let's get on to the, the subject. Now I took this photo of course, we have to use photos for most of the time these days. And I uh, was in holiday, uh, on a holiday in uh, Grayton. I'm sure some of you go there quite regularly. Probably one of the nicest venues for a landscape artist. I took this photograph, um, quite a popular scene. When I got home, I had a look at it and I thought, well, that would be, make a nice painting. And then I thought, you know, what, what am I going to paint? What's this painting about? What's, why, why am I going to paint this? Is it about the mountains, um, the trees, maybe the house? What I realized is the, the most common mistake we make with photographs is we take the photo of a scene, get home, and we paint everything that's in the border of that photograph and as a result is we kind of forget what we need to do as a painter. A painter is not a camera. A painter has to bring an interpretation to a scene and convey something about it. The majesty of the mountains, the play of light on the trees and so on. Um, and maybe you can get away with doing that on a large scale, but it, it's not very easy. And we're not all John Constable. As mere mortals, we will struggle to pull it off. So what I did is, and what I encourage all artists to do with their photos, is to try and find as many compositions in their photograph as possible. Start off with the darks. Look for dark shapes and then how can you make, how, how can you emphasize the light using the dark shapes? It's the darks that make the light stand out. So for me, I chose or decided to do an intimate scene uh, and focus on the, the house. I was in Intrigued with this dark shape of this large uh, bush over here and immediately the sun on the side of the house. So that, that's a big plus. There's shadows in the foreground or immediate foreground which is always helpful. Always look for a shadow pattern if you can. And nice strong lights across the shadow. So the typical sort of device of having a shadow in the foreground, you can step into the painting. Other little nice elements, the little street lights with a little highlight perhaps, the nice rim lighting on the bushes, nice yellowy greens, there's a spot of red over there, and the background I would 
clearly need to simplify that. So I cropped right down and as you can see the reference in front of you there we got this little postage stamp section and that is the subject. If I perhaps wanted to turn this into another composition maybe a very strong portrait shape with the house and the mountains that could also be something but there's way too many details in this paint or this photograph to bother with painting. Mm -hmm. 